Hey guys, so in this video, we're apparently setting up a new, uh, a new tank, which I was not expecting. But uh, we've got this two and a half gallon tank. That's actually really new. I didn't, I actually found it today. Um, my front, uh, real quick, uh, just as a disclaimer, the front camera isn't working. The only camera that's working is a selfie camera, so I'm going to have to figure out how to adapt everything to that, but, you know, we'll just make do with what we've got for now. Ah, I didn't know I could extend this more. Anyways, so um, this is the tank we are using. It's another two and a half gallon. Uh, this one's also a two and a half gallon, and I've got some dirt here from outside, and so we're going to go ahead and take that hood off. It's got a nice little ring to do so. Um, it does come with a backdrop, but I'm not sure I'll be using that. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump our dirt in. So let me go ahead and actually show you guys the dumping of the dirt. Um, there we go. Oh, that actually works nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and dump our dirt in. That's a lot of dirt. Let me get my, oh, sorry you guys. Gonna get my professional aquascaping tools, uh, which um, was not a sponsor, but this brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, is a really good, a really good uh, aquascaping brand. This was like, I think like $17 off Amazon. So super useful. Let me actually turn this light on so you can see a bit better. That's better now, isn't it? So there we go. We've got our saint. We've got our new. Actually, let's take a little bit of that back out because I don't think we're going to need that much of it. So let me go ahead and take a little bit of that out of the tank. Oh. Got my professional of course escaping tools I can't see properly so I'm not gonna use this light I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the light that's on the pee puffer tank there we go up uh, now mind you this isn't the light that's gonna be staying on this tank uh, this is just the one that I'm using for the video. Um, just so that, because this is a bit better lighting, I think. And it just helps me to be able to see inside the tank when I am escaping. Because the glass is not incredibly clear. Um, it is a very cheap tank. The walls aren't actually made of glass. They're made of plastic, so it's not a super, you know, it's not a super high-end tank. But, you know, it'll work. It's a free tank. Um, I found this off the side of the road. Can you believe someone was going to throw this tank away? I sure can't. Um, so let's go ahead and go get some sand for this tank. So I guess I'll bring you with me. So let's go get some sand at our uh, sand harvesting pit. So let's go, uh, uh, I don't have my remote with me. Okay, okay, here we are. About to go, out. oh, it's bright. About to go outside, we're outside. Uh, we're gonna get some sand from our sand harvesting pit right there. That's our sand harvesting pit. Um, this is where the magic happens. This is where we get all our sand. So, if you wanted to know, that's where we get it. Ugh. Trying to get this sand. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Uh-oh. We've got a bunch of aqua soil in there. Oh, well. We'll just rinse it out. <clears throat> yeah, this sand is going to need some rinsing. So, yeah, oh gosh, it's a lot of sand. A lot of leaves, so 
So I'm gonna cut you to where we have all the sand. All right, we got our sand. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. Ah, I forgot our water hose is not working, so we're gonna have to use the bathtub to rinse out our sand. <laughs> this is so heavy. Actually, no, there's a water hose over here that works. So, oh, goodness gracious. Ah, there's no water hose there. Never mind, no water hose there. <sighs> Dude, this is so heavy. Okay, rule number one. Probably, well, I mean, you kind of have to carry it in the picture, so. Uh, good luck with your sand. Okay, we are here in the bath. Oh, oh, stupid light. Stupid light, work. There we go. Anyways, we're here in the bathtub. We're going to rinse out the sand. So there's our sand. Just gonna turn that on. Put the sand right there underneath and let it rinse. All right, we got our sand. Uh, there's still some leaves in there, but that's okay. Uh, the scape is gonna be kind of, you know, leafy, I guess. I was already going to probably add botanicals in there anyway, so not a big deal. Real quick, uh, this tank actually came with a heater. So, a uh, heater. There we go. So let's hope that thing works. Not sure it will, but let's hope. We can dream. All right, so let's go ahead and put the camera where it was. Because I am definitely the best YouTuber on the planet, aren't I, guys? If I am, make sure to subscribe. Definitely, because... Oh! Ugh. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's fine, though. No. Okay, well, I dropped my light. But I kind of don't care. Except I probably should. But I kind of don't. So, oh gosh, this stuff is heavy. Let's go ahead and dump out all our sand. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm probably going to cut you to when we actually get the sand situation situated. Okay, we have fixed our sand situation. Except we haven't put the backdrop back on. So, let me get that light real quick. Put it back together. Doop, 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 doop. And there we go. Now let's get the backdrop. Yeah. Eh. Hello, guys. You can see me on the camera. Eh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, that was chaotic, so, I mean, it shouldn't be as chaotic now that I've got the... Ah. Oh, everything's falling right now. Nothing wants to stay where it's supposed to stay. Let me move that. There we go. I dropped the backdrop again, so I should probably get that. Oh, wait, no, I dropped a different backdrop. I dropped the guppies backdrop. Or the, the, the pea buffer backdrop. Uh, I'll probably post a video about that in the future. Ooh, I'm tired. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this sand all spreaded out. Of course, that's not the correct wording for spread, but who cares? Anyways, so we should, let's go ahead and spread out our sand. Now, mind you, some people will say that, oh, you shouldn't have bubbles in your sand because that's bad and blah, 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 bad things, blah, blah, blah. But really... Sand, uh, bubbles in your sand layer, uh, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, if anything, it's just going to turn into CO2 that, you know, ends up being used for the plants. So, yeah, interesting fact. Uh, you can't see the glass, so let's use some filter padding to clean it. So, guys... If you didn't know, that's actually the correct usage for filter padding. Who knew? 
I'm kidding. No, the, probably don't use your filter pads like that. Okay. I think it might be easier if I just use my hands for this first part. I was trying to use the aquas, professional aquascaping tool because it makes me look like a professional. But really, I have no idea what I'm doing. Now, this setup is going to be for a couple of dwarf Mexican crawfish. My dwarf Mexican crawfish breeding pair. So that should be pretty cool. We should get some breeding in here. Um, I don't have any more dwarf Mexicans. I only have two. So it's going to be kind of an interesting setup. So it's not going to be a whole ton of breeding for the first couple of uh, broods. It's not going to be a whole ton of breeding um, until we get some babies and those babies can breed and blah, blah, blah. Um, now this is a very white sand. Um, this is actually the same sand that I used in the pea puffer tank. And that one turned oh, into more of like a greenish color. Or not a greenish color. I should say like uh, an or more orange, basically. More orange. Uh, so we're just going to put it on a handy dandy cart right there. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the rocks for the scape, so I'll cut you when I have some rocks. Oh, uh, that's, I'm so used to the button, sorry. Uh, now I'll cut you till we have some rocks. All right, so we got our rocks. Here's our rocks. Notice we do have some plants here and some Ciano Acrylate Super Glue Gel for uh, gluing the plants onto the rocks. Um, now... Just so you know, it is plant safe, it's shrimp safe, it's crawfish safe. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, so I can already see you in the comments telling me, hey, no, you probably shouldn't use glue in your aquarium. But trust me, uh, I've seen a lot of professionals do it. And so, you know, it's fine. Um, so we're going to glue... Um, we have two pieces of Anubius here, which is super useful. Um, so let's go ahead and get our glue out. Time to open it like an ape. There we go, our Ciano Acrylate Super Glue Gel. Um, and now you don't have to get the gel form of it, but it just makes things easier. So we're going to take our Anubius um, and we're just going to take our rock we're going to put some just a tiny little dab oh, tiny dab oh good lord is there like a thing that I need to open no it's all open okay let's try that again let's go ahead and give our glue a little shake Tiny little dab, tiny little, am I just weak or is this glue super hard to dab? Am I just that weak? Good night. I might just be that weak. Okay, there we go. Ah, hold on. What the heck? Mm, that's weird. That is super weird. So I guess we just gotta give it a nice shake down. Like that. Then we'll dab it? No? What are you doing? I promise you guys, it works. I've seen perfect. Ah, there we go. There's our dab. There we go. So we're going to hurry up, place our Anubius on the rock like so. Let the glue. Ah, thought it was done. Now, even though it's glue. Even though it's super glued, just remember, it does take a little bit to dry. 
a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and put a rock in there. Perfect. Um, then we're gonna do it again. So, okay, so we got our two plants in. We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our stones in. Uh, normal people who are, who have a normal sized budget usually put, you know, detail stones in there. But I have a budget that says no to detail stones. And so we will not be using those fancy cool looking detail stones because I have a budget and it said no. So let's go ahead. Ooh, accidentally bumped our plastic. Now I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried because this is plastic, not glass. And glass is a little more durable to scratches. But plastic, however, is not as durable as glass. So I'm a little worried. I really want to put as much detail as we can into the scape. I actually kind of like that. Maybe if we put the Anubis like right here. One of the, this Anubis right there. I kind of like that. But I feel like, mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm feeling. It's a little too simple. Let me see. Let me get some more stones. Let me get some more stones. And by some more stones, I literally mean one more stone. So, let's see. Will this make all the difference? Ah, I feel like that flat stone is too flat to be in front or in the back. Let's see if about it right there. Oh, see, look at that. All the difference. That one stone made all the difference. Look at that. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's add some stems in real quick. So let me get some stems. Uh, let, I gotta cut. Uh, let me add some stems. Now, okay, we're not gonna put a ton of stems in like I normally do. Um, we're just gonna put like a couple. So I've got some Valsneria here. Um, I've got two actually. Um, so we're gonna put those in um, very nicely. Now I'm gonna leave space right here for our filter because this tank, like I said, I'm not loading up on stems. And stems are the only reason I was able to go filterless on most of my tanks. So that's the secret, I guess. So let's bury our roots. Let's get our other Valisneria. Uh, let's put this guy, let's put this guy, how about in that back corner? I think that would actually be pretty cool. Pretty cool looking in that back corner. Now, the plant that I always put almost in every tank, this is pretty much my signature, is Elodia. Uh oh, dropped a piece of Elodia. Anyways, so Elodia, super cool plant. Sorry, uh, they're having a party out there, so yeah, we're gonna have to make do. So let's put a little piece of Elodia there. Could have swore I got more. I guess I didn't. Okay, that's fine though. And then we'll put a little piece right there. And now we're going to fill it up and see how it looks. So let me cut to it's filled up. All right, so we've got it filled up. Let me move that. We've got it filled up. It looks pretty good. I like it. It's nice and simple. It's, you know, it's nice and simple. I think the crawfish are going to love it. But there is one thing. It's stupid because it's not filtered. So we're actually going to add a filter. So, um... It's a 10 gallon filter, so it's pretty, it's pretty powerful filter. Um, let, uh, let me fix it up and I'll show you. Okay, so we've got the film on. I'm not sure how much I like it. It kind of has an artificial look to it. And it's kind of like, um, it makes it look like I'm, uh, compensating for this scape. 
because escape is very simple, but the backdrop is very complex. So I think we're actually just going to snatch that right off. And we'll probably just go with a simple black backdrop. You know, just a simple, easy black backdrop. So, yeah, I've got a couple of them laying around. But this tank is a pretty good one. And um, I'll be adding the uh, inhabitants in soon. So, let me actually cut you to when I add them. So, yeah. Hey, guys. So, I have changed some things up. The lid looks super bootleg, but that's because I have a um, filter on here now. Uh, simple hang on the back filter, but it makes the lid look a little bootleg. The tank has not cleared up. We have got the heater running, and we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, uh, I can add the crawfish today, but if it doesn't clear up, then I'm not going to add them. Right, guys, we have added our crawfish, and I've decided to add some guppy fry, because, I mean, mine as well. Um, we've added the crawfish, and they're not super interesting, uh, kind of like I sus suspected, but, you know, they look, this tank is a really cool tank, and I really like it. And I'm sorry if the camera glitches a little bit, um, like that. Uh, that's because my camera's glitching. So, oh. Alright guys, so we've set up the tank. It's looking really good. Uh, I really like it. This is my first bow front tank. You can see it's a bow front. You can see it a little better from this side. Yeah, you can see it's a bow front. I've added some guppy fry along with the crawfish. Uh, the crawfish aren't coming out a lot, but, you know. The heater works, which is surprising. Um, I did add uh, the crawfish the same day that I set up the tank. And the way I was able to do that was I basically just am doing a fish-in cycle rather than, you know, waiting for, for a long, long, long time to finally add the crawfish in. Because they're tiny little critters and they're really not going to do much when it comes to the bio load. So, you know, you don't really have to worry about them, but they're looking really good. So, yeah, I think we're going to do one of those cool little dynamic shots. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also, um, if you really like to see more of these build videos, uh, comment down below because I love making them. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.